Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to do a quick unboxing and setup of the Odroid VU7 7 inch touchscreen display for the Odroid C2. In here we have some HDMI adapters and micro USB, a flat USB cable. Now we're probably not going to be using this for the Odroid C2. It also comes with a micro USB to USB 2.0 adapter. And it looks like this is a micro USB to micro USB. So this screen kit looks pretty cool. This is a seven inch capacitive touch. It has five points of touch and it's designed for the Odroid C2. The Odroid C2 actually mounts to the back of the LCD screen, but this could be used for pretty much any single board computer. It has a resolution of 480 by 800, which is a little low, but on a seven inch screen, it's not that bad. And yet, yeah, it looks really nice here. Over on the side, we have our mounting holes. We also have our inputs, micro USB, HDMI, and our on and off switch. Around back, the board looks nice. So I have my Odroid C2 set up with a 16 gigabyte eMMC module. I also have Android 6.1 installed on it. Go ahead and lay everything out and get started here. So this is one of the main pieces to the puzzle. This is an HDMI adapter that will plug into the Odroid and the screen. These are full size connectors here. We also have the micro USB to micro USB to power the LCD screen from the Odroid and enable touch. The other cords won't be used right now. All we'll need is a screwdriver. So here's the Odroid C2, little single board computer powered by an Amlogic S905 CPU at 1.5 gigahertz. I have an eMMC module installed with Android. If you wanna use SD, you can definitely do that also. So here we go. This is fairly simple to do. On the back here, we have these three mounting points and three is definitely gonna hold this board in place. It's not that heavy at all. It's gonna sit on here just like this and the package came with standoffs, so we need to install those. As you can see, everything lines up. I'm just gonna grab a screw and a standoff and we're gonna install these onto the LCD itself. Now I definitely recommend putting the screw through the other side, it just makes life so much easier. And then you can actually just hand tighten the spacers or the standoffs, whatever you wanna call them, or you can give them a little twist with a screwdriver. They don't need to be torqued down super tight. So I'll go ahead and install the other two. And there we have it. All three standoffs are in place. The board's gonna sit right on top of them just like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert my three screws, tighten them down snug, but I don't want to strip them out or break anything, so they don't need to be that tight. And there we have it. Everything looks like it's lining up perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my HDMI adapter. We need to make sure this is facing the correct way before we jam it in there. We don't wanna break anything. It's gonna be kinda of snug. You'll hear a little bit of a click. Looking great so far. We now need to add our micro USB adapter. So, from the micro USB port on the Odroid C2 to the LCD screen. This is a little offset. It's made perfectly for this setup. Gotta make sure I have this to the correct way also. Yep, that's what I thought. Just gonna plug it in, lines up perfectly, and looks great. Okay, so now I'm ready to power this unit on. And it powered right up. Touch is working. I'm gonna flip it around here so you can see it. 
You could put a battery here, but you need to watch out for the exposed electronics, so maybe some double-sided sticky tape. I have Wi-Fi and USB, plus my power adapter. Seems to be working well so far. I did set up my Wi-Fi. So I'll go online here and just go to Ameridroid.com. Touch is dead on. It doesn't need any pre-programming as far as I can tell. And it works. Very responsive screen and the camera's not doing it justice. It does look washed out in the video. But in real life, it looks very crisp for being such a low resolution screen. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope to make some more videos very shortly using this screen. I'm going to try to install RetroPie within Ubuntu and things like that. But I kind of want to make a few videos using Android first. Like always, thanks for watching.